What is up, everybody? And welcome to Studio Day Heffrey, where we actually have many cowboy things to discuss. Thought it might be a slow news day? Thought wrong. Welcome to Talking About the Cowboys. So, we need to talk about their linebackers and how they might be able to upgrade it today. That is on the docket. We need to talk about the Cowboys offense on third down. Thank you to Todd Brock from Cowboys Wire writing about Cowboys on third down and some numbers. And I will explain some of those. You know what happens on third down? Well, a lot of it is based on what happens on first and second down. We'll talk about that. Plus, the players Washington will be missing this week that will help the Cowboys beat them handily. Okay, we ready? Rock and roll. Okay, step one. Step one is that every time a player gets released, waived, cut, whatever, um, if you've heard of him, I get asked about him. In this case, that player is Zach Cunningham, linebacker from the Houston Texans. Now, let me pull up what I got from a Texans source. I have a Texans source. Uh, Also, I want to point out, because this tweet is important from Ian Rappaport, Texans moving on from Zach Cunningham. He made nearly $9 million this year, but the base salary was $900,000. So, the new team would only take his base salary. So you would pay him about $275,000 for the rest of the year if you claimed Zach Cunningham. Who is Zach Cunningham? Zach Cunningham is a good run defender that can't cover. He is a dude that as soon as you fake a handoff, he is flying downhill. Good run defender, bad coverage guy. But when you're talking about making basically league minimum, I am interested. Here is what a source told me about Zach Cunningham. Actually tried to get off the team in preseason. Has won it out since the year started. Can still ball. They've messed with him a lot. He had slash has that Jalen Smith injury bonus stuff. Could not cover you, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, you remember when the, cut, the Cowboys cut Jalen Smith? The reason was because they couldn't get him to waive an injury guaranteeing his contract. They didn't want him to get hurt later in the year and cost him a bunch of money. So... The reporting on Zach Cunningham's deal and how much dead money they'll have next year, we'll see how much of that comes out to be true or if it is a Jalen situation where they're saving themselves money by not risking running him out there and getting him hurt. Zach Cunningham, I am interested because the Cowboys linebackers are bad. And I want Micah Parsons to rush the passer a bunch. So sign me up for the Zach Cunningham dealy dealy. I'll take it. In other news with the Dallas Cowboys, Two guys from the Washington football team, Logan Thomas, the tight end. He is going back on IR. He will not be playing. They thought there might be a chance that his injury wasn't as bad as they feared, and maybe it's not, but this is his second time on IR this year, so he will be out for the year. Logan Thomas is gone. That is their second best second best pass catcher, according to me. Now they just got Terry McLaurin. That's what they got. Montez Sweat was going to try to make it back. Pass rusher for Washington. He, covid He's out, will not be in this game. Obviously, Chase Young won't be in this game. Cowboys are going to beat them. Now, last thing we're going to talk about today is, oh, actually, no, second to last thing we're going to talk about today. Let me see if I can get this one up here. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, yes, okay, so that was that one. Sorry, it's a one-man band over here, okay? When it's a one-man band, stuff can get tricky. You need to see what all I have. Okay, now. Third downs for the Dallas Cowboys. Todd Brock from the Cowboys Wire wrote about this. Cowboys on third down. They're converting third downs 40% of the time this year. That is not good. It's worse than last year for the Cowboys when they didn't even have a quarterback. They were 2 of 13 against the Saints. Over the last three games, they're converting their third downs at 24.39%. That is awful. So... What's going on? Are you choke artists on third down? Are you a bunch of pathetic losers that can't figure out how to play football? Eh, not necessarily. Here's my main explanation. Bloop. When you're talking about third down, you know what you need to hear about? First and second down. Early downs the last three games, thanks to Reed Hansen. This is what the Cowboys are doing. Um, if you can't see the graphic, they are... In the top right quadrant, the top right quadrant is where they reside, which as you can see on early downs, if they run the ball, their EPA that's expected points added is negative. You are hurting your ability to score points every time you run on early downs on average as the Cowboys. And when they throw the ball, they're in, what does that look to be, about the top 10 or so in the league in terms of EPA per play, and that's in the last three games when they've struggled offensively. So your biggest problem on third down, ladies and gentlemen, is not third down. Your biggest problem on third down is first and second down. 
you call the right plays, you perform well on first and second down, you can avoid third down altogether, or you can get a more manageable third down, and life will be better for you. So, the Cowboys are not some team that, oh my goodness, it's go time, it's crunch time, it's clutch time, and they choke on third down. They're a team that's putting themselves in third and long because they're not getting things done on first and second down. And this is also in a period when they're not throwing the ball well on early downs either. They're struggling all around. They're struggling to protect. They're struggling to catch. They're struggling to run. The Cowboys are in a lull. They're having a rough go of it. Putting the right offensive lineman in might help. Um, But yes, so the Cowboys are struggling. That is obvious. We've established that. Third down is not some magic formula. If you remember, once upon a time, Carson Wentz was going to be league MVP before he got hurt. And the reason Carson Wentz was going to be league MVP is because he was having incredible success on third downs. I believe it was at 2017, whatever year it was, uh, because he was great on third downs. And you know what that is? Small sample size. Doesn't get replicated. Not all that important. Don't worry about it. Be better on first and second down. You'll be fine. One other nugget today we need to get to with Dak Prescott. In week 13, Dak was the NFL's most aggressive passer, threw into a tight window on 30% of his passes, according to Next Gen Stats. He's targeting receivers in a tight window on 18.3% of his throws, fourth highest in the league. So what does this tell you about your quarterback? I believe this tells you two things about your quarterback. One, uh, Dak ain't gun shy. Dak is not afraid to throw into a tight window. Dak is not afraid to be aggressive. That is one thing. The other thing is I do not want my quarterback to be the guy who's throwing into the most tight windows because if I'm throwing into the most tight windows, do you know what that tells me about my quarterback and my offense? It tells me my receivers aren't getting open enough. That's what it tells me. It tells me that's either a reflection of wide receivers not getting open or our plays not scheming guys open enough. So, it can be encouraging about your quarterback that he's not afraid to let the ball go and he is not afraid of contested throws. He's not seeing a guy and going, I don't know if that's up. No, he's believing in it and he's letting the ball go and that's great. But you do not want to throw the most contested balls because it means your guys aren't open nearly enough. And I don't like that. So that's your Cowboys roundup for the day. Uh, Call of Duty has the new map out for Warzone. So I didn't have a lot of time today. That's all the time I got for you today. Leave in the comments something. Your favorite word. Your favorite color. Your favorite toe. Leave all those things. I got to go do Trust the Tape. The new map's out. Got to get my exercise in. A lot of things happening today, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, woo. Cowboys by 13, by the way. Just if you're keeping track at home. Uh, Yeah, that's it. So, what's my thing? What's my thing? What's my thing? It's, um... You have no idea what anybody's going through, so be cool to everybody. I love you.